Hi everyone, meet Marla. She is a photojournalist. A photojournalist is a person who tells stories through photographs. Marla travels around the world to take pictures of different people and places and then arranges the photos to tell a story. Photojournalists can create stories about anything. Marla is very interested in photographing historical places and artifacts from different periods of history. She believes that objects can tell people a lot about different cultures. Today, Marla is working on a story about an upcoming exhibit that shows the influences of the Spanish and Hispanic cultures in Arizona. So, Marla is going to go to the exhibit, study the artifacts, and decide which objects she would like to photograph. First, Marla decides to take a picture of a helmet and some armor that belong to a Spanish conquistador. The conquistadors were Spanish soldiers who came to the New World in search of gold. Marla sees that this is one of the main reasons that the Spanish settled in America. Marla then decides to take a photograph of a religious statue called a santo that came from a mission church. She knows that the Spanish wanted to convert Native Americans to the Roman Catholic religion. So they sent priests to the New World. It is clear to Marla that their religion was very important to the Spanish people. Marla spots a beautifully decorated wall. She learns that this is a reproduction of a wall in a mission. The wall is painted with flowers and other patterns that show the influence of Spanish and Native American decoration during the 13th century. Marla sees how cultures can come together to create new types of art and decoration. Now Marla sees a collection of hats and brightly woven belts. She learns that these are examples of clothing worn by the vaqueros. These were Spanish and later Mexican cowboys who herded cattle and horses. Marla spots two copper cups. She learns that these were used in the making of chocolate drinks, both hot and cold. Chocolate was introduced to the Spanish by the Aztec Indians in Mexico. She knows that the Spanish took a great liking to chocolate and used special copper containers to prepare drinks. Now, Marla moves to the part of the exhibit that talks about the history of Hispanic people in Arizona. Marla knows that the Hispanics are people whose ancestors came from Spanish-speaking people in Arizona. Many of the Hispanic settlers and their descendants came from Mexico. Marla finds herself drawn to a beautiful woven blanket. The blanket has a very distinctive style to it. She learns that blankets like these were made by Hispanic settlers who came to Arizona from Mexico. She realizes that materials and patterns may be different, but everyone wants to be warm. Next, Marla sees that the exhibit is showing different items that celebrate the Mexican holiday known as Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead. This is when people remember their loved ones who have died. The holiday began in Mexico, but many American cities that have large Hispanic populations celebrate it too. There are parades, and people decorate their homes and eat special foods. Marla moves on to a part of the exhibit that is all about Hispanic music. There are pictures of some local Hispanic musicians. Marla enjoys listening to the different types of Hispanic music. This part of the exhibit also shows examples of different instruments that Hispanic settlers brought with them when they came to Arizona. Marla understands how music is influenced by other cultures. As Marla lays out her photographs, she rearranges them so that they tell a story about the Spanish and Hispanic cultures in Arizona. She is hopeful that the people will see how two cultures are similar, but also very different. Now it's your turn to be a photojournalist and go on an adventure.